Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me today. I'm Jenna Stauffer. There are moments in time when everything is in balance. All is beautiful, all is calm. The quiet and the sense of peace is overwhelming. The interaction between light, sky, and water is perfect. Time seems to stop. These moments are evoked by the photographs that you see behind me, and they were taken by my first guest this morning. Alan, thank you for being on the show with me. I'm delighted to be here. <laughs> well, I am delighted to have you because I am such a fan of your work, Alan. It is so beautiful. Well, thank so you. Beautiful. Alan, yeah. how did you end up down here in the Keys? Well, I had a, a career. Actually, I've done all sorts of things in my life, but photography's kind of been the unifying theme, and I thought that I had retired back in 2000. Mm -hmm. And I spent the summer in Alaska fishing, and I met a friend uh, who said, if you like to fish, you gotta come down to the Florida Keys. So down I came, mm -hmm. and uh, I started, uh, uh, you know, I just spent the winter here fishing, and mm -hmm. I really loved the place. And I went back to New Mexico for a while, and then came back down here and uh, thought, well, you know, I'm just going to start taking photographs again and mm -hmm. uh, running a, a, a fine art business, photographic fine art business, and here I am. I started out in uh, uh, Sugarloaf, rented a place there, and then moved down to Duval Street, and now out here on Stock Island. Mm -hmm. And now the photographs that we see behind us right now, they're, they're all seascapes. Is That's this right. all you do, Alan, or do you do some other images? The, the, uh, the seascapes are my own personal work, mm -hmm. Jenna. They are my the way I feel fulfill my creative needs I have a commercial photography business uh, and obviously there's a lot of photography involved in that but this is when I get in my boat okay mm -hmm. off I go and most of these photographs are either taken on the water or on the beach mm -hmm. yeah. what do you makes a beautiful photo Alan <laughs> <laughs> that's a great question um, it's kind of the way you started out with the preamble. It's like when a lot of things come together. For every image that you see, I've probably taken hundreds, uh, and you just select that one that has the right amount of balance, the, the colors are right, the feeling is right, the composition is correct, and I don't do that consciously. When I, take, when I go out to photograph to make an image, uh, th that's the difference between my creative work and commercial work. In commercial work, you know what you want to achieve exactly, and you organize everything around that to get that image. When I'm photographing for myself, you just go out and you see something and you start, you know, putting it together, and it's it's a, it's it's really a much more creative process. Mm -hmm. Now, your photographs—they almost look like paintings, Alan. They're mm. so beautiful. <laughs> what is it that you do to them that make them look so real? What, what I what I try and do, as as everybody knows these days we have Photoshop, which you can, you can take an image and you can manipulate it in every single way possible. Uh, my images have been, uh, I've worked on them in Photoshop, but what I try and do is make it look like it, 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 like it looked in my head. Mm -hmm. What I saw when I was there and actually making, making the image, making the photograph. So that's what I go, that's what I go back to. Mm -hmm. um, Mission accomplished with that, <laughs> yeah, yeah. with the creating what you saw. Yeah. Now, Alan, we're going to be showing our viewers a video. Mm -hmm. Tell us everything that's going to be in this video they're going to okay. see. Um, we did that video two years ago when I had a show at the Customs House, and we wanted to show people how we put all this together and some of the process. So basically what you'll see is, I think, a little bit of me uh, on my boat actually out photographing. And, and one of the photographs that's on the screen uh, was actually taken that that day, and so we've got the you know the the camera stuff that I use, how I wait around, how I compose stuff, and from there back to the uh, studio where we look at how we edit this material, the using Photoshop again, mm -hmm. and then finally to the process where we're printing it on canvas, and then the f very final thing we do, which is. Uh, spray it to protect it and then we stretch it on stretcher bars and mm -hmm. we have the finished thing and it's interesting a lot of people do say that yeah, looks like a painting but it's not it's just it's just a photograph mm -hmm. yeah. a photograph that is so so beautiful <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> all right thank you alan for being on this morning and again our viewers will get to see after these message messages the video of how exactly the photograph comes to see 
what you see behind us on the screen. I'll be right back after this. Stay with us.